Hey folks, guess who? Yep, that's right, Krusty on Marine. Let's talk about hearing protection today. Um, I bet every one of you shooters out there has a pair of these or has used a pair of these and probably most of you hunters out there have used a pair of these too. These are Walker earmuffs. They're rated to 27 dB. They work really great, um, but I don't really like them. I've probably got four or five pairs of these things, but I'm already wearing a cap. I don't want anything else bulky on my head. I find that they're just, they interfere with everything a little bit too much for me. So a couple of years ago, I went to these Surefire EP7 Sonic Defender Ultra Earplugs. This is what they look like. I've been using these for a couple of years. I've been pretty satisfied with them. They say in the literature on them that uh, it's supposed to protect your hearing while also allowing you to hear normal conversational level noises. Um, and that's supposedly accomplished with this little additional plug right there. In, in reality, I don't find that they work that great. Um, I don't find that I hear have too much of a problem hearing normal conversation anyway, you know, like range commands. Uh, even though I've got quite a bit of hearing loss from the Marine Corps, uh, a lot of shooting and too many explosions going off too close to my head. But anyway, um, I don't find that that feature works so great on these. In addition to it not working so great, um, it's kind of hard to close when that's in your ear. Now, the only other negative I have about them is this little cord. It's, I don't know, some kind of little vinyl flimsy thing. It's very lightweight. It, uh, you know, it doesn't feel bad on your neck, but I find that it's, uh, it doesn't work that great. You know, you're putting on a shooting jacket or whatever, and the thing gets pulled around like that. It's, it just don't stay on your neck really great. I've had these things fall off a time or two, and I've had to look for them. I was like, where the heck did that go? It's down in my shooting jacket somewhere or laying on the ground. <clears throat> Outside of that, I think they're really great. Their ear foam inserts, they're very, very soft. And you can see they're, they're, they're memory foam. And when you mash them in, they go in your ears and then they expand while you hold them in there. They work really good for me. I have to use the large ones because I got big old holes in my ears. Um, and this little piece right here that holds it in your ear, that, that works really great too. So these just pop right in for me and, and they stay in really good. Let's see what they look like there. Um, <clears throat> I've been really happy with them. They say that the memory foam is supposed to last about six months. It depends on, you know, how hard you use them, how much you use them. I've used these uh, in the pits, on the range, firing. I've used them at work, you know, around uh, the airplane. I hardly ever use them in the cockpit. But if, the few times that I do a walk around, it's really noisy outside of 747. Uh, the packs and APU running and other equipment on the ramp. It's really noisy. They work great and they're very comfortable. But this memory foam, it yeah, I'd say six months is probably a good estimate on it. I've been using them for two years. I've used them a lot. Probably should have replaced the foam a long time ago. Um, but the need to replace the foam is what prompted me to try out some others that we're going to do a review on. Um, these things, they run about... Uh, what is it? Uh, about $21 a pair, which is a really good price. These little ear, little things that hold them in the cups of your ears here. They're very flexible and they're very comfortable. I want to review a couple other pairs that I've gotten and have tried. And what holds them in your ears is a little bit different. Uh, and the comfort levels vary. But these, these are really nice. They're really soft, but they're very effective. Um, see what else do they say about these? Like I said, these memory foam caps, uh, need to be replaced every six months to a year. You could, they sell them in a set of three and they're about, I don't know, they're 15 or 16 bucks, uh, for a set of three. So I don't know what, five, five fifty each. That's not too bad. I am still going to order a set of those for these replacements and continue to use these. They are left and right ear coated, at least on this particular set. You can see that that red one, that's for the right ear. The clear one, that's for the left ear. And these things are rated, eh, I think they're rated to 26 dB. One thing in the ad said 26 dB, uh, another said 28. So 26 to 28, 
27, just like the uh, Walker earmuffs. They also say that these are compatible for radio communication devices. You just remove the uh, noise reducing filter and attaching the earpiece to your radio communication system. Uh, I don't use those. I'm not a Secret Service agent or a CIA agent or any kind of a spy, so I don't use any of that garbage. Uh, there's probably better things out there than that, but yeah, you can get dual use out of them. But overall, I give these things probably on a five star rating. I would give them probably about a 4.8. They work very well. Um, they last a good long time. They do what they're supposed to do. My biggest my biggest complaint about them is is cord. Looks kind of stupid too, doesn't it? Uh, I think a like a cloth cord shoelace kind of thing would look work a lot better, but you no, know, it is what it is. It works. Um, if you're so inclined, I think these are a really good bargain at 21 bucks. They feel great. Got the nice little carry case, and those fit very easily in your pocket. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, Surefire EP7 Sonic Defender Ultra Earplug.